Welcome to Hawk's Eye View. Today, we're going to go through and review the Framework Laptops Ethernet Modular Card. Just got mine in the mail. I ordered it a little while ago. You can actually see the manufacturer date here being 220902. So let's go ahead and rip this box open and pull out the packing. And we can see it's in a clear case which is interesting. The rest of them were all in silver. So you can see this is the larger card than what would typically come with the framework. So it's a full size 2.5 gigabit ethernet adapter that will stick out away from your laptop. So let's go ahead and get this plugged in. So I've got my laptop. I was in batch three a year ago or so and go ahead and slide this guy right in there and it clips in place, which is great. You can see it sticks out away from the framework a little bit. And as we open things up, it's actually pretty flush on top. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna open up Fedora Linux because that's what I run as my everyday Linux distro of choice. And we can see right now with nothing plugged in, the ENP0 is our ethernet. And there's nothing there on the IP address. Wi-Fi does have an IP address. But let's go ahead and plug this bad boy in. And once we plug that in, it actually goes through and lights up on the end. So you have working LEDs for both the orange and the green next to it, which is great. So you actually have indicators that the thing is working correctly. So let's go ahead and do an IP space tag A or an IPA, which was also IF config in the past. And we can see the ENP0 has got an Ethernet. So let's go ahead and go to speed test next. Uh, my ISP, I'm paying for 400 down and 40 megabyte up. We can see that this is having no problem connecting to my gigabit Ethernet uh, for my home, even though my ISP upload is not that high. So I don't have any way to test 2.5 gigabit networks yet but it's obviously doing 100, over 100 megabyte, so we should be good to go. As we can see the upload speed is great as well. And I've obviously bucked my IP address and information here just because y'all don't need to know that. I've also gone through and upgraded my motherboard since last I posted. If you want to be able to use this with your 11th gen or your 3D printed, you can go through and pop these out. There is an issue though. With the expanded card, it's not just longer in width, it's also higher in depth. So you can't have the one that is solid like here on the bottom because the card is literally thicker than your standard cards. It sticks down quite a bit. So with that, if you're going to go through and 3D print one of these cases, you're gonna to need to make sure that you can have the expanded to where it's just a hole there instead. So if we plug this back into the main framework laptop, we can actually see that it does stick down below the rest of the case. Now this is not gonna be an issue because when this sits on your tabletop, it's actually below where the foot is, so it's not gonna cause an issue. So below it does stick down a little bit, but up top it is flush. So along with that, I had a couple of folks ask me to do an LS uh, PCI. Well, this isn't a PCI device, this is a USB. So I went ahead and did a LS USB TAC V. Um, I have copied and pasted this section down into the comments. So for those of you who wanted to check out what that looks like, you have that information uh, for you. So along with the ethernet, if you should go through and get this yourself, uh, other people are asking, okay, is this tough enough? Uh, can you actually like, break the case or twist it? Is it going to be smashed if it gets thrown into your bag? And when I'm going here trying to be able to manipulate and bend this thing, I'm having a hard time doing so. So including like twisting it at weird angles, I think this is going to be plenty tough enough for you to be able to throw in the bag and not worry about it. So this is me going through, like I said, trying to twist it. The case is pretty rigid, so I think it's worthwhile. If you don't want to get a module like this to be able to plug into your framework, what I've been using up to this point in time is this pluggable 2.5 gigabit 
Ethernet adapter that's got both USB-C and USB 3 ends. And it's a great little device to be able to throw into your kit. If you need more than just Ethernet though, the other option that I've seen, although I've grabbed a whole bunch of different docks and or expansions for you to be able to plug in, this Axios one that has been suggested by a couple of folks, it actually has a full MVME slot underneath here, so you can actually have an alternate operating system, more storage, but the cool part on this is that you have your power distribution and then your power connection. So that's the side that you plug into your laptop. So you would have ethernet and you'd actually have some additional storage. So that's another option. If you found this helpful, give me a like and subscribe and we'll talk to you next time.